Hi folks, today we're going to be looking at the Microsoft Surface Pro 4, which is the brand new laptop come tablet come everything. Why I say laptop is because it has the option of adding one of these things with it, which is the type cover, which is uh, the incredibly slim line keyboard, which is pretty awesome, actually, <laughs> I've got to say. Right, let's have a look at uh, the tablet. So what's in the box first? Okay, so uh, user manual. Lots of interesting, fascinating information about setting up a, a Windows 10 uh, tablet and warranty stuff and a very nice little stylus which goes kind of like that magnetically on the side. Can you see that? Slick, eh? <laughs> so let me just get this away and then we'll look at the actual tablet itself. Well, the first thing you notice about the, the, the tablet is it's quite a chunky um, piece of equipment. It's much more so than, than the typical Android. I mean, it comes with a 12, this is a 12.3 inch uh, display, um, clear tight display, uh, with Gorilla Glass 4 on it, so it's quite tough, tough um, in terms of knocks. Um, USB 3 um, has uh, an 8 megapixel camera on the rear and a 5 megapixel camera here on the front, so taking those all important selfies. Uh, 2.5 gigahertz dual core i5, uh, which is a, a meaty processor with four, uh, four gigabytes of RAM on this particular model and 128 gigabyte uh, disk um, SSD. So it is specced like a laptop um, rather than a tablet, which probably me makes for the extra weight of 770 grams. The screen 2736 by 1824, a USB 3. Let's just have a look. So on the side here, you see USB 3 and a display adapter, micro SD slot for adding in uh, extra memory. Um, that's for the keyboard attachment there. As I say, the the, the stylus pen slots neatly onto there. Power, whoops, <laughs> power and uh, volume up and down. Uh, and that's it really. I mean, it's, uh, it's a very, um, oh, sorry, apart from the stand here, which pops out nicely like that, which makes, uh, makes uh, for a nice laptop-like experience. The, 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 one of the very cool things about it is this delightfully thin keyboard just magnetically slots onto there and there you go, you've got a really portable, truly um, slimline two-in-one laptop come tablet. How does it do in performance? Well, it's got this rather delicious um, pen here. So if I double click that, I automatically go into the note mode. So if you're in tablet, if you've got this as a tablet, say, you've taken it into class or whatever, you can just start to do stuff, write notes, this is a great lecture, etc., etc., and save these for further use. So it really is a practical kind of um, unit. It's not a just a pretty little toy that you write on. It, it it's it's got some intelligence behind it, which is quite cool. You can clip things off the uh, off the screen, so like that. So if you want to do that off maps and stuff like that. And it's a very responsive kind of stylus. So I have to give 10, 10 out of 10 for the stylus actually, because it's very, very efficient and even has a button on there. So if, you, uh, if you're using it, you can use it kind of like a mouse, which is quite kind of cool. Those of you who are familiar with Windows 10 will recognize the standard kind of interface um, with swipe ins from the right hand side here to deal with things like, you know, power, um, battery saver, and all that kind of stuff, and flight mode. Um, it, it has some quirks, I mean, <laughs> Windows has some quirks, which Android doesn't. For instance, here I am with a, with a tablet with two cameras, not one, but two cameras, and there's no camera icon. In order to make it take a photograph, I've got to do something like, there's probably a shortcut somewhere, but even so, I've got to hit that to take, which is a little bit clunky. There should be a permanent icon sitting down here somewhere at the bottom, I would say. Taking a shot is fairly easy, and of course you've got a fairly nice eight megapixel camera to play with, so the actual videos and the shots are actually quite crisp. I'll put some up as a, as a demo later 
So the camera actually works quite nicely, but once it's gone again um, and you've shut it off, it's disappeared. <laughs> Got to find it again. I mean, it's just sloppy, isn't it? It's not necessary to do that kind of stuff. Uh, the rest of it, you have the standard sort of Microsoft Edge browser, which will get you to anywhere you want to go. And it's, as you can see on an i5 processor, uh, 2.4, it's a, <laughs> probably, a, it's a nearest a, a laptop uh, you want to get on a tablet, to be honest with you, because it's very brisk. Look at the way it pages in those. There's no cache here. That This is just clean off the uh, first time we visited this page. And as you can see, um, oh yeah, fast uh, Wi-Fi connection, but even so, it's paging in very nicely. Let's have a look at, uh, see if I can get that into bring that up so actually that's the trade-off for uh, for having to use windows you get this kind of power which really does make a difference when you're trying to uh, to surf slightly better situation with maps you just hit the maps and you're into here which is the microsoft version of uh, the alternative mapping system to um which is of course nokia's uh, mapping system or old mapping system the alternative to google maps it's uh, adequate let me just put it that way it has everything you'll need on there it's just not as fully featured as uh, the google uh, offering as you can hear it's got some nice speakers on it this is just the standard game that comes with windows 10 here but the, the speakers are dolby and they're nice and loud so you're not going to suffer from not hearing them they're there right at the top the top two corners here so full into your face as you can see, I'm shouting. No, I'm not too much. <laughs> For us, the real, the real powerhouse of this tablet is the fact that it comes with this amazing little keyboard. It's a great keyboard. You have to say it's it's crisp. Um, it's got a great little feel on it. You know, much better than you, you, some of these little bolt-on keyboards. Um, the fact it's not Bluetooth means it's much better on power consumption for the whole unit. It's also incredibly usable. This this trackpad on its own is one of the most re responsive we've seen on anything like this. It's a joy to use this, this little add-on here. So this makes the whole thing a, a completely different, different ball of wax, really. I mean, this is a, a laptop masquerading as a tablet. So it's, it's it, don't be fooled by the fact that they, they call it a, a, a Surface 4 as a tablet. This is a laptop, really, with a with tablet pretensions. So you can carry it around and use it in tablet kind of situations, you know, lectures and taking notes and stuff, but yet then get the full productive capacity of a, of a laptop when you need it. That, that is worth its weight in gold. And the fact you've got a lovely little stylus to make things e uh, easier is even better, you know, unlosable, etc. So all in all, I've got to say, this Microsoft Surface Pro 4 is, is really quite a, a winner for its genre. Now, you're, whether or not you love or hate Windows 10 or Windows in general is, is your decision. Um, we're ambivalent. We've got to say Windows 10 is better than several other versions we've seen in the past and not as good as some others. If you're used to Android or even Mac, of course, and you're, you're unfamiliar with the Windows quirks, then this is a, a decision you're going to have to make after playing with it for a bit. But from where we're sitting, this is a really nice, look at that little nice little finish on the top there. It's a nice little package indeed, the Microsoft Surface Pro 4. Oh, finally, just the last thing is to say that the uh, battery life of this is rated about nine hours. But mm, to be honest, um, you know, if you're, if you're using it extensively, either gaming, watching movies or anything like that, I anticipate you'll, uh, you'll get a lot less than that, maybe around six or seven or so but i haven't tested that actually objectively so please don't quote me the microsoft surface pro 4 yeah nice like it like it as usual if you enjoyed this video please subscribe to the channel so it can bring you more cool stuff thanks